Hello, what's up guys? Good evening. Welcome to Chef Choi TV. Alright guys, so welcome again sa ating kusina. So today, um, isusulo ako ulit. Uh, magluluto na naman po tayo. So tonight's uh, recipe is... Uh, kakarne tayo. Okay? So, this is an Indian mutton. So, basically, it's kind of goat. <laughs> May English ako. So, you will hear me uh, speaking in English because we have some friends, especially Indian friends that are watching our videos. So, yeah. So, this uh, this video is uh, dedicated to all our Indians uh, friend. So, hopefully, na I can make their food like similar as what they used to eat. Uh, so here's the ingredients, guys. All right. So we'll use this uh, Indian mutton, and we have the spice there. Okay. So I used a, I think it's already a seven spice, uh, chili powder, cumin, and uh, uh, coriander powder. So since we don't have uh, curry leaves, I will use a bay leaf, okay? So he here's some other ingredients. So we'll use uh, tomato, uh, garlic, ginger, onion, and some uh, coriander leaves. And of course, our ginisa mix for uh, enhancing the flavor, all right? So just bear with me. I will uh, prepare everything before we start cooking. So. After like few hours, our colleague will come and then we will eat together. Alright, so before that, I would like to say thank you very much for all those people who's watching our videos. And same as the people who commented to our videos. So thank you very much guys for the always uh, support that you're giving to our channel. And yeah, we're trying our best to entertain you guys and give you some... Uh, like a basic, uh, especially recipe, cooking at home or just, you know, home cook. So thank you so much for that uh, uh, solid support to our channel. So thank you. So I will show you guys that I will going to cut everything first and then we'll start uh, sauteing and cooking everything. Alright guys, so uh, I've finished already chopping all the vegetable or all the spice. So yeah, normally as what I saw, um, they use uh, paste. So like ginger paste, uh, garlic paste. So here, uh, we just chop it finely so uh, we can make a nice uh, gravy. You know, normally uh, Indian people, they love uh, eating their food with the gravy so for us Filipinos we love with soup and for them they love uh, gravy so we will try our best to make a nice uh, gravy um, uh, sauce for this uh, recipe so this uh, mutton curry is very uh, famous in Indian cuisine so I just uh, using all my uh, things that I know and some spice I know some spice are not here uh, for your disclaimer only, so this is only what I, 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 I got. So we will uh, start now uh, sauteing and cooking this uh, motor. Alright guys, so we will start uh, cooking now. So uh, here in uh, UAE, actually in Middle East, uh, Indian food is very common. So before I am not eating uh, curry because we have a uh, uh, different uh, Filipino style of curry which is similar to Japanese curry. So here, uh, it's uh, more flavor, more spice they're using. So before I'm not used to eat this one, but since I've been uh, working uh, in Middle East for 10 years, more than 10 years, so I adapted already the, the culture of eating this kind of food. So now 
I'm just uh, cooking it according to what I seen or according to what I taste. So here, we just heat it a pot. So we just put a oil on the pot. I know it's uh, quite uh, quite awkward because I'm speaking English. So um, yeah, just. Uh, just try to understand if I got some uh, wrong grammar or wrong English because uh, you know this is not my uh, mother tongue so <laughs> apologize for that okay so first we'll uh, saute the garlic this is my style I mean I used to do it okay we saute the garlic And after that, we'll uh, put the ginger. So I just made it a minced ginger. So next one is our chopped onion. Indian loves onion, really. So we'll just cook the onion until it get car caramelized before we put the tomato so disclaimer guys this is the this is the way I cook so I know Indian people they cook a different way but this is how I cook so we we'll just cook this one until caramelized so some people when they uh, sauteing the uh, onion garlic, they used to put salt, but for me, I would I'd rather to put later on. I know it give more flavor, but for me, I just choose to put the uh, salt in seasoning later on. So yeah. So as you can see, guys, it's starting to caramelize the onion. And now we'll try to put our tomato. So what we we'll need here guys is to make a gravy as much as we can but if you have a blender once you saute everything especially this uh, tomato onion ginger you can blend it so you will have uh, like a paste so it will be a, uh, more good but since I don't have the um, blender I need to cook, cook this as much as I can you been smashing, I need to smash it. So once the tomato will be cooked, we'll put our uh, mutton. So normally, mutton is uh, common in uh, Indian cuisine, but for us Filipino, we use the goat, which is the small version of it. But uh, in Philippines, we have only few people who's uh, um, uh, farming, do a farming for uh, mutton, or this is the matured meat of the lamb. So uh, the difference of lamb is goat is there, there's a big difference. Okay. So as you can see, guys, it's already like totally cooked our uh, tomato. Alright. We just reduce the heat. Alright guys, so in this part, we can add now our uh, mutton uh, meat. So here's our mutton meat. So I wash it already. So we can put direct. Alright, so in this part, this is the time that I'm going to season it with salt and pepper. And then after that, we'll add our spice. So, yeah, so I forgot something, which is the... I should put also together the bay leaf, but anyway, I'll put it after I season it. So we'll add the salt. Pepper. 
All right, guys. So seasoning your uh, food or your dish is is uh, according to your taste. Okay, so we might adjust some uh, uh, seasoning. So later on, so after they infuse everything, all the 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 flavor will infuse everything. Then we will adjust the seasoning. Actually, I should put this one during the garlic onion, uh, sorry, garlic uh, ginger uh, sauteing, but I forgot it. So now I will put our bay leaf to give also a good flavor. So since we don't have the uh, curry leaves, so I will put this uh, dry bay leaf. Alright guys, so we will simmer this one at least one to two minutes and then once in uh, like halfway cooked, we will uh, put our season, uh, I mean the, the powders, the all these powders and then that time also we will uh, give another uh, adjust of uh, seasoning. Okay, so we will uh, wait until it uh, halfway cooked. Alright guys, so after a minute, like more than a minute, this is how it looks like. So after we simmer it, so we see that the the juice of the meat is already extracted. So this time we can put our spices, powders, and of course uh, we can adjust also the taste, putting the um, salt and some pepper. And of course I will put our uh, guys. Uh, Indian people they are not using this one. Maybe they are using some chicken powder, but I know this is only for Filipinos. So maybe some uh, friends there, Indian friends, they will try to use this uh, actually like uh, seasoning uh, enhancer. So you, you can try this one, guys. All right, so we'll put the seasoning powder. And we'll add some more pepper and all the spice. I think, uh, yeah. So this is all the spice that I have here. So we just dump all this spice inside. Okay. Wow. Right. Do a stir. Yeah, maybe I missed something or I don't know, but I'm just trying to like uh, replicate the Indian curry. <laughs> I mean the mutton curry. Okay. So once we mix it nicely, so as you can see, it's uh, creating a nice, a nice uh, gravy. So we'll add more. We will add water. Alright, guys. So we add a glass of water to that uh, mixture so that we can it can gives more uh, and makes the um, meat more tender. And you know, a good thing in the curry, especially for the mutton, when the bone, you know, uh, splitting out or moving out from the from the meat, that's the good uh, curry. You know, when usually I when I eat the curry. I don't like to, you know, I just wanted the bone will take it out by itself, you know. So we just add more, more uh, water, okay. And the same thing we can adjust, we can adjust uh, this mixture later. So we just wanted to have that nice uh, tender meat. So everything is there already. And once we almost done, we will put this one. So normally, Filipinos they didn't eat this one. Uh, yeah, when my first time here in abroad, I hate these uh, leaves. So these leaves has a good uh, beneficial effect. So you must eat these leaves. You know this what leaf is? Coriander. So coriander leaves. So we will put this one later. 
Alright, so we'll give a... We'll try to taste it. So we can adjust the seasoning. Spicy. Yeah, so this curry has uh, missing something. The curry leaves. That's the one is missing here. So anyway, this is only a... I can call it a Filipino style mountain curry. Yeah, so we'll uh, simmer this one more. And I think I need to add more um, salt. Okay. More salt. But anyway, it become, when it will uh, come sticky, become more salty. So just add a little. So let's simmer this one. until the meat becomes tender and after that we will put our uh, coriander leaves okay so we'll we will come back okay guys so after like about more than 30 minutes of uh, simmering this so this is what it looks like uh, yeah so I did some adjustment I just add the uh, like a half glass of water so I think it's already the meat is already tender and as you can see guys this is the this is the perfect one wait 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 did I shoot it nicely okay so like yeah like what I've said I adjust some something here <laughs> I add some water like a, gla a half a glass of water so as you can see guys the the gravy see look at the gravy and i think the meat is already tender and i think it's easily fill up from the, the meat yeah i guess so <clears throat> now uh, we need to add this uh, coriander leaves now and yeah let's go So I just uh, separate some of the leaves so this it's nice to eat with the fresh leaves if you seen my previous video where I make the fish curry voila I really love eating that one so I'm not sure if uh, some Indians some Indian people they putting it with the lemon juice or lemon but for me, uh, as what I taste, I like to have at least the acidity on it. So you will not just taste the, the spiciness. And of course you will taste also the, the uh, acidity of it. So as you can see guys, yeah, it's too thick now. Since uh, it's already like more than 30 minutes. So this is basically the, a stew. Mutton stew. Okay, so let's give it a try. Ah, oh. my God, man, really? See, this is my version of uh, Indian uh, mutton curry. So basically, it's stew. Okay, so I think we're done with this. So we just set aside, put the cover, and then we just wait for our uh, colleague to come home. And yeah, I hope that one of my Indian friend will come, so at least he can give us some feedback of what we did today or tonight. So yeah, basically this is only in my own uh, uh, version. So yeah, we just wait for our friends to come home and we'll just eat together. Of course with the rice <laughs> rice is over there okay so I hope you enjoy that um, um, cooking uh, time and before that I would like to give a shout out to our um, uh, friends who's uh, celebrating a birthday today and we have lots of friends who's celebrating birthday today so happy happy birthday to you all guys and <clears throat> for those friends that uh, always uh, supporting our channel so especially 
our friends in uh, Riga. There are many friends that we have there, so I cannot uh, tell all of their all of their names. So yeah, and new friends here in Dubai. Uh, mega mega shout outs in you guys, and then who else? Our friends in Abu Dhabi as well. So yeah, maybe later on I, uh, I'm not able to do a shout out. And this coming uh, November 6 is our uh, 42nd founding anniversary of my uh, uh, school organization, which is the Kappa Psi Sigma. So happy, happy uh, founding anniversary, in your uh, brothers and sisters. So we just keep the Indian plane burning. So that's why <laughs> there's a relate, but not the Indian, literally Indians from India, but the uh, native Indians. That's uh, symbolize our our group. So we just keep the flame burning, and shout out to all the Kachinas in the, all over the world, especially to Upsilon uh, BCS chapter. Make a shout out, and yeah. So let's see later what they will uh, uh, comment or feedback to our mountain curry. So thank you so much for watching. We'll come back later. What's up, man? <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So, what to do? Only two of us. Um, just wanted to inform you that the whole vlog I was talking in English. Ah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I can speak in English, bro. <laughs> because this, this, uh, um. The, uh, this video is dedicated to our Indian friends, friend, but he's not here. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, just what I said earlier that we invite some friends, but unfortunately, he wasn't even replied to my message. So we just hit this one together. I know, uh, even though he will give me uh, good feedback because I know, you know, friendship is like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so honestly, this is my version. So we'll start with now. Yeah. Okay. So normally this bread is uh, best partner of this one. So since Asian uh, yeah, rice is life and bread also, we and cannot, uh, we cannot uh, enjoy our meal without rice. So and we have here the fresh um, uh, coriander leaves. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, only few people eating this one. So I don't know if he likes also this one fresh one. So of course, it's I'm a goat. <laughs> Yalla. Cheers. That's it, guys. Mm. The aroma. Woohoo! <laughs> wow. Wow. So, as you can see, guys, the gravy was so. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, this is how we eat the kubus bread. Just like dip in the sauce. For me, Gubus is... Mm. <laughs> That's why I wanted to uh, invite some Indian friends because I would like to at least to hear some feedback of this uh, recipe that I made. Uh, no problem, I'm Indian. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the, the local Indians, they can... Uh, they, uh, they eat uh, this curry with the uh, basmati rice, mm -hmm. so they can mix and then. Uh, but most of them are they are eating of this uh, bread, bread or some parata. Mm -hmm. If you know that, guys, you know. Uh, one then with the chai on the side, it's very perfect for them. Mm -hmm. So the the bone was spilled out. You know, easily to the meat. That's how tender it is. Yeah. So for 35 minutes, I guess I just simmer it for 35 minutes in low heat. Mm. Mm. You know, guys, uh, you will uh, you will enjoy this uh, having like this kind of food to use your hand. Mm. So so that you can feel. Uh, Oh, it is, yes. So, but since he's using uh, just rice, <coughs> rice so I will uh, 
finish my meal with, the, with this spoon and fork. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's really tasty. Mm -hmm. It's really tasty and tender. Mm -hmm. With a chef toy, uh, the mutton curry version. version. So, hope you'll, uh, you will enjoy, you will, uh, you will uh, try this kind of food with the uh, bread and uh, if you like some rice you can eat with rice and uh, next time we will uh, invite uh, some of our friends like uh, Mr. Gurav or mm -hmm. Ren or so but unfortunately they are, they are busy right now so uh, maybe next time hopefully yeah. so yeah we will enjoy this see the bone just peel out you know mm -hmm. so tender man chef choi can eat uh, this curry without rice but i don't know later if it's <laughs> 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 me i cannot i cannot sorry so i need rice every time the graviness mm -hmm. <laughs> It's like it's like a tomato sauce, but yeah, it's it has a tomato, but with uh, lots of spice. Yeah. <clears throat> and the chili, the chili powder will kick your mouth. Yeah. So this is the difference uh, between uh, uh, Indian curry and uh, <coughs> mean curry is uh, a. Yeah. I just, mentioned, a, I just mentioned before yeah, earlier. Yeah. So our curry is similar to Japanese curry. Yes. It's not too spicy. Yeah. So with the coconut meal. Yeah. So the Indian is uh, they used to have a uh, a lot of uh, tomato, onion, onion, and the spices. And uh, the only thing we don't have here is the curry leaves. Ah yeah, I use, I use the basil. Ah, bay, bay leaf, bay leaf, so. <laughs> bay leaf. So, okay, so cardamom, uh, this uh, cardamom seed is there. Yeah. Cardamom seeds, I I hate it when you when I bite it. It's too strong. Mm -hmm. Really. I'm the one who finishes. Now because we have your bread. Mm -hmm. Really nice, so tender. Really so tender. Mm. Yeah, so mutton and lamb, the difference is the age. Mm. Okay, they're same sheep, sheep, they're same sheep, but they have different age. So <clears throat> basically, the lamb is the younger one, which is like a year below, but months, are they? Uh, months, months? Yeah, I guess. So it's like a baby sheep, yeah, baby sheep. and the mutton is the mature one. Yeah. So before I said that. It's a, I think it's a, uh, in the family of goat. Yeah. So Similar. in the Philippines, only few people doing uh, sheep farming. Mostly of uh, Filipinos, they're doing a goat farming. Yeah, goat farm. So for our kabayan, you can try to make uh, goat this meat. kind of uh, recipe by using the goat meat. Yeah. So if I will go back home. Uh, in the future, I will try to do similar um, dish using a goat milk. Ah, I don't know, guys. So good. <laughs> Would you like some <coughs> soft drinks or no later? <laughs> and yeah, so I would like to to eat continuously. So maybe we can we can uh, we can enjoy our food first, and then we will come back later because it's already like few minutes yeah so we'll enjoy first and then we will we'll talk with because we will discuss something so we'll come back later after we finish thank you all right guys <laughs> we're done we're not yet done so this is my last <clears throat> for you okay so <laughs> we finish eating guys uh, okay so <clears throat> it was a very good dinner I hope you enjoy it. So uh, thank you so much for always um, supporting our channel. So if you like this video, just give us a thumbs up. 
Yeah. And if you want to share also with your friends, you can share it. And if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and click that the notification bell so you will be updated for any videos that we're going to upload. And before that, I would like to give a shout out to our uh, friends. So basically, I, I would like to give shout out for those friends that here in our community. So Rimram Basketball Family and especially to our uh, friends boss mark shout out shout out to boss Tadio. shout out to boss jason uh, shout out to boss alfred and shout out to boss gerard boss uh, desquitado shout out boss patrick shout out and the rest of the guys mega shout out sa inyo. so i don't know their uh, full name so i just uh, uh, no only their first names or their nicknames, maybe. <coughs> All right. Shout out, Chef Jordan. <laughs> you will understand what we are talking about now. So we are trying to cook our best, uh, our uh, uh, lamb curry or mutton curry. Yeah. We're trying our best to cook this. Uh, so so shout nice out, chef. face. Shout out to you, Chef. So. Thank All right. So, so thanks so much for watching. Till next time. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>